When is the best time to check your blood pressure? In the morning or at night? Does it even matter? Recent studies suggest that yes, not only does it matter when you check your blood pressure, but it also matters when you take your blood pressure medications. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. I'd like to share a story that might make you rethink everything you know about your health. Meet Mike. Mike was in his early 40s, living what most of us would consider an ideal healthy life. He exercised regularly, maintained a balanced diet, and made sure to visit his doctor every year for his routine checkups. His blood tests always came back normal, and his blood pressure readings at the doctor's office were consistently within the healthy range. Mike was the picture of health. No symptoms, no warnings, just smooth sailing, or so it seemed. One day, out of nowhere, Mike had a heart attack. No one saw it coming, not his family, not his friends, and certainly not Mike himself. He didn't fit the profile of someone at risk for a heart attack. There were no signs, no red flags. It was a complete shock. Mike was lucky, he survived. But as he recovered, the questions began to pile up. How could this happen? What went wrong? Mike had an extensive workup. An ultrasound of his heart showed left ventricular hypertrophy. This is a condition where the walls of the left ventricle in the heart get thicker, making it harder for the heart to pump blood effectively. He also had significant atherosclerotic plaques in his coronary arteries. This means that fatty deposits were nearing the arteries that supply blood to the heart, restricting blood flow and increasing the risk of a heart attack. But why did this happen? As his doctors examined the data, they discovered something that left Mike stunned. At night, when Mike was supposed to be resting, his blood pressure was dangerously high. This nocturnal hypertension slowly and quietly put immense strain on his heart without him even knowing it. The most frightening part? Mike had absolutely no symptoms. During the day, his blood pressure was normal, giving him a false sense of security. But at night, his heart was fighting a silent battle, a battle he never even knew was happening. So when is the best time to check your blood pressure? In the morning or at night? Does it even matter? As Mike discovered, it absolutely does. Understanding and controlling your blood pressure, especially at night, can be the difference between life and death. You can feel perfectly fine, but your heart could be silently struggling, putting you at much higher risk for cardiovascular disease. Untreated or undertreated high blood pressure is one of the most common and significant risk factors for heart disease and death. What's even more alarming is that many people, like Mike, have high blood pressure at night and don't even know it because they feel fine during the day. Our blood pressure will naturally fluctuate throughout the day as part of a normal physiological process. These fluctuations are influenced by various factors including physical activity, stress, diet, and the body's circadian rhythm. During the day, it rises to help us stay active, and at night, it should ideally drop to give our heart and blood vessels a chance to rest. But for some people, this doesn't happen. And recent studies confirm this hidden danger. One study analyzed data from nearly 60,000 patients over the course of almost 10 years. They found that nighttime systolic blood pressure was the most informative measure for predicting all-cause mortality and cardiovascular death. They report that nighttime systolic blood pressure was about six times more informative for mortality risk than blood pressure measured during the day at a doctor's clinic. Nighttime systolic blood pressure was also twice as informative as daytime blood pressures taken at home. So what does this mean? Studies show nighttime blood pressure is one of the most important indicators of heart health. If your blood pressure stays high or increases at night, it could mean a higher risk of heart disease, stroke, or even early death. The scariest part is that you might not even know it's happening, just like Mike. So for regular blood pressure monitoring, I recommend checking blood pressure at consistent times each day, ideally in the morning as well as in the evening prior to bed. But to really understand your blood pressure patterns, particularly nighttime blood pressure, the best way to do this is to get an ambulatory or automatic blood pressure monitor. These are available for purchase online and I have linked a sample device in the video description. 
This is not an endorsement of the device, but just a starting point where you can begin your research. These small devices can be worn for 24 hours and will automatically take your blood pressure throughout the day and at night. The readings will give you and your doctor a detailed picture of your blood pressure patterns, including while you sleep. All of this results in a much more accurate understanding of your blood pressure and heart health, potentially catching a hidden risk before it becomes a life-threatening problem. And what about when to take your blood pressure medications? Studies on optimal timing for taking blood pressure medications have also highlighted the importance of managing nighttime blood pressure. One study followed 19,000 people with high blood pressure and divided them into two groups. One group who took all of their blood pressure medications at bedtime, and another group that took all of their blood pressure medications after waking up in the morning. After six years of follow-up, researchers found that those who took their medications at bedtime had significantly better control of their blood pressure and a much lower risk of developing major cardiovascular events such as heart attacks, strokes, heart failure, and even cardiovascular death. We're not 100% sure how to explain these findings, but there are a few hypotheses. First, just like how we have a normal wake and sleep cycle, our blood pressure also has its own circadian rhythm. Our blood pressures dip about 10 to 20% during sleep and is crucial for reducing cardiovascular strain and allowing the body to rest and repair. In some individuals, this dip is either absent or worse, blood pressure increases at night. Persistent high blood pressure at night increases the workload on the heart and blood vessels, and this leads to structural changes such as left ventricular hypertrophy and arterial stiffness. Chronic high nighttime blood pressure can also damage the endothelial lining of blood vessels, promoting inflammation, oxidative stress, and contributing to atherosclerosis. All of these changes increase the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attacks, strokes, heart failure, and arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats. So by taking your blood pressure medications at night, you're ensuring the medications are doing their best to keep your blood pressure controlled when it matters most. It helps lower your blood pressure and protects your heart when your body should be resting. Now I wanna quickly point out that all of this information is just based on what studies say. The true best time to measure blood pressure or take your blood pressure medication is whenever you best remember. And that's because the most important factor in determining what kind of results you will get with your medications is how often you miss a dose or how often you forget to take your medications. Before making any changes to your routine, be sure to consult with your healthcare provider to find the best strategy for you. Lastly, we know medications are only one of many treatments to lower blood pressure. Daily exercise is also critically important, and just like with timing of blood pressure, the type of exercise you choose will have a varying impact on lowering your blood pressure. Studies suggest one particular type of exercise is far more effective than others in controlling blood pressure. Check out this next video where I will reveal what it is and how easy it is to incorporate it into your daily life.